Okay, so you spent the time looking for the perfect piece of driftwood you want, and now you have to put it in the tank, and it's light. What you gonna do about it? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to sink, get that out of here, sink a piece of driftwood um, by boiling it, and then you can just pin it down with rocks, but you can also just pin it down with rocks. It will take longer, but also boiling it will sterilize it, which will be nice. So you know you have a nice clean piece of driftwood going in. Like this, this is wild collected, and I don't know what's on it. I know it's it was found. I got in a spot that didn't. I know it hasn't been sprayed with the pesticides or any uh, poisons like that. So just make sure when you're collecting driftwood that it's not from somewhere like that and it's the right type of wood because some woods will just rot and then others will. So don't go collecting like wood from the forest. Go along the sides of rivers and pick up wood like this, rivers, creeks, stuff like that. This that's actual driftwood. So, let's get started. Right now you gotta find a pot that's big enough to hold at least half of, or more than half of the piece of driftwood. So you can at least boil half of it and then maybe flip it over and boil the other side. So what you're gonna do is fill this up with water, let it, you can, you can set it in here before and it'll start soaking up some of the um, water too. But get the water up to a boil, um, and then just let it simmer for about 40 to 45 minutes. And then either if you can't fit the whole piece in, just flip it over after those 45 minutes and do it to the other side. And it's ready to go in the aquarium. Okay, it's been more than 45 minutes here, and I had to put this rock on it to uh, keep it under the water here. And now I'm just going to turn the heat off and let it cool, let the let the wood cool down in the water, and then you can throw it in the tank. All right, now that I've boiled this for more than 45 minutes and both sides have been boiled, um, just simply take it out of this and throw it in your aquarium. Um, some woods will mold when you throw them in your aquarium. Well, like get cyanobacteria. And you can just either let that go naturally or scrape it off. But it will probably come back. Anyways, just let that go. And then some it might sink right away depending on how thick it is. This one probably won't. And then in that case, you can just hold it down with a rock. All right, the wood's in the aquarium. I'm probably just gonna let it sink and sit and float in there until it sinks. You can pin it down with the rock if you want. Um, well, that's it for this video, and if you enjoyed it or it was helpful in a way, please like and consider subscribing.